All right, guys, you just got done watching me build a team. Now it's time to play with the team. Brock Osweiler versus Drew Brees, D'Angelo Williams, John Kuhn. We got Reggie Bush playing receiver number one on the other team. Vernon Davis, most feared. A couple of good offensive linemen, Mario Williams, Charles Johnson. This is going to be a big test for our bronze squad right now. Bud Dupree, Alteron Werner, Harrison Smith, and Antoine Bethea. The secondary seems a little bit weak for my opponent, so let's try to exploit that. First play, and Brock Osweiler is going to go down. He takes a sack. Not something I was looking for. But let's just move on. Try to get some yards here on second down and 24. Osweiler to the right side. We see Joseph Fourier breaking free. Try to get it to him, but he ends up running down. I think we're going to get the forward progress here. It's going to be a gain of about 17 yards. That's going to set up a third and long. Third and seven. Let's see if we can get this first down. We see a guy screaming off the edge, and Brock Osweiler goes down again. So that's going to set up a punt. Now we're going to take over here. Our opponent has the ball. Drew Brees on the handoff to D'Angelo Williams up the middle. And he's going to gain a couple down to the 50-yard line. Second down and four. Drew Brees has a pump fake into a play action, into a pass, and it's intercepted by Earl Thomas? I don't have Earl Thomas on my team. No, what I think happened, guys, was I have only one player at each position on my team. And I actually have to fill that out with bronze cards. It took the next best player, which happened to be Earl Thomas. And uh, hopefully that's not going to affect anything in this game the rest of the way. I don't think he made any more plays throughout the entire game. I don't. I tried to do, like, coverages where he wasn't on the field, but that will be fixed for the next game. Um, I don't think he would have been able to move the ball pretty well anyways without Earl Thomas there. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, it was kind of a bad pass. I'm sure one of my, like, silver or, you know, gold players would have made a play on that. But we end up getting Bud Sasser here on a big touchdown on our next possession. And, yes... The pack counter is back. There it is. Pro pack number one. And that's going to put us on the board 7-0. And I also want to say real quick that this video is only post-game commentary because I want to explain a little bit to people that don't know what pack and play are. Maybe for the new people on my channel. Basically what pack and play is, is I start with a starter team like you saw in the first video. I open up 10 packs. That's my base squad. So it's kind of like draft champions in a way. I start off with a base team. And then every time I win a game... If I win by 7, if I win by 14, you have to take how many scores I actually won by. So let's say I won 14 nothing. I won by 14 nothing. I open up two packs for how many scores I won by. And then if I get a shutout, which is zero points, I open up another pack. So there's different ways in which I can earn packs throughout my time playing pack and play. If I get two, inter if I get two user interceptions, that's another pro pack. If I win a game, like I said, by 14, 21, 28, if I keep going and going and going... I open up that many pro packs based on how many scores I am up by. There will also be ways for me to get other cards through the silver player upgrade sets, trying to get a gold player. If I open up enough silvers throughout my time playing pack of play, which I'm definitely sure I will, probably in the first night, then I'll be able to upgrade some silvers, get a gold on my team, and just try to build my team the best it can be throughout the entirety of me playing. Of course, if it gets boring after a while, I will restart. Um, I'm always up for anything. Like I said, I got 3 million coins. Someone in my comments yesterday said, you know, you got all these coins and you're not really buying a team. You're not really doing anything with it. And, uh, well, that's true. I like to have a lot of coins, but I also know that I could be doing a lot more things with my coins. I'd be doing a lot more gameplays and a lot more, you know, team building aspects and stuff like that. As we go up by another pro pack, by the way, up 10 nothing, two pro packs to open after this game. And we're going to give it away just like that. He gets a big touchdown. All the way for six goes Julio Jones, and that's not what we wanted there, but oh well, up 10 to 7. Uh, back to what I was talking about, though. There are other ways in which I can, you know, build a team and whatever. However you guys want me to do it, I'll be, you know, doing that. I also have some ideas that I don't want to just do pack and play. I do want to have, like, another team uh, built so I could do a pack and play series with a main squad series. Uh, that's going to be a little bit more challenging for me to do. I'll still try to get, like, a pack and play game every single day. But there will also be, you know, other gameplays on my channel as well. So just whatever you guys think would be cool. If you guys want to see Pack and Play exclusively for a little bit, I'll be doing that. But if you guys do want me to buy a team, I don't know, maybe, like I said, I kind of want to do like a Titans team. Maybe a Titans slash Buckeyes team. Um, all AFC South team. Even though that would be really expensive, I calculated it. It would probably be about 2.9 to 3 million to build an all AFC South team. I don't really want to spend all my coins. Because then I won't have anything for other videos. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just make an all-time Titans team. It won't be that expensive, obviously, because there's not a lot of good Titans in the game. Sad face. But uh, I don't know. Whatever you guys want to see, I'll definitely be doing it. Maybe I'll just make like a good team that's not super expensive. And then also do that. 
I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see. Let's just talk about this pack of play, though. I know that's a lot of, you know, what a lot of people want to see and a lot of people have been asking me for is gameplays on my channel. Honestly, like, I don't know if I want to call it laziness or just not liking the gameplay, but I just, I don't know. I don't really like, like, doing gameplays, but... Uh, I'm going to get back into it. I'm going to have fun with this. I'm already having fun. I played a couple of games of pack and play, so it's definitely a lot more fun than it has been throughout this entirety of the year. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, is really, you know, irking a lot of people's nerves, like all the nano blitzes and all the, like, cheese plays and stuff like that. But, um, like I said, I'll get back into it. I'll have a lot of fun with this. And you should expect a pack and play gameplay every day for the foreseeable future until, like I said, it gets boring. No one wants to see it. And, you know, just whatever. I'll be making another team if that happens. Like, if you guys don't like this, I'll be making, a, like, a normal squad and just playing online and doing my thing. But, uh, yeah, we are up 17-7 to 7 right now, up by two scores. My opponent's going to go ahead and run D'Angelo Williams to the right side. Get the first down. Again, D'Angelo to the left side. He's going to get shut down. He has 10 rushes for 52 yards already on the day. Now, Drew Brees is going to throw a comeback route, and it's almost jumped by Johnson. That sounds funny, jumped by Johnson. And uh, that would have been a nice turnover right there. But we got our opponent down. Fourth down and five now. Breeze is going to take a hit. Incomplete pass. And we take over on downs. Entering into the fourth quarter here in a little bit. And we take a sack now. That's not good. Three sacks already for Bud Dupree. And he almost gets me again. But we get the ball off. Trying to get it to Sasser. But that's an incomplete pass. Third down and 14 now. Can we get the first down? We got Osweiler looking. We find Fourier wide open. And he's going to go ahead and break free. Down to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, 5, end zone. Touchdown, Joseph Fourier. And, yes, we do go up by another pro pack. We got three back on the board. If we're going to win, I want to win big. I need some more pro packs. I need to open up some more players, definitely, to get this team right. So let's see if we could stop him here. He's got D'Angelo Williams on the right side trying to truck me. Ends up going out of bounds here with an injury, but he ends up getting back up on the next play, so it really doesn't matter. It's kind of weird how Madden works like that. Like, it'll say you're injured, and then he'll just be right back on the field for the next play. I don't know. I would think if someone gets injured, they shouldn't be able to come right back on the field. But whatever. So first down and 10, up the middle goes D'Angelo Williams for a loss of two. Play action fake, and he's going to find a wide open receiver. And it's Larry Fitzgerald going into the end zone, taking away one of our pro packs. So now third down and 7. We're going to try to find anything we can, but we end up taking a sack. That's not something that we needed right there at all. So my opponent takes over here with a minute and 15 seconds left. I don't know what I'm trying to do right there. I just got way out of position. Vernon Davis is going to take it for six. And just like that, we're down to one pro pack. All right, we got to get one back. He's going for the onside kick. This is kind of a risky decision by me trying to get a touchdown, but I do want to upgrade this team. I don't want to go into the next game with the same players. I need an upgrade somewhere. We're going to find him wide open. Who is this right here? Tyler Lockett, I think it is, or Luckett, whatever his name is. I have no idea. He's a bronze card. He gets in there for six, and we go back up by a touchdown, and that is going to be the final score of 31-21. to 21. We got 309 passing yards dropped on us, but oh well. We got the W. We got the two pro packs. Let's see what we get out of these bad boys. Definitely looking for an upgrade anywhere we can. Definitely would take anything. We got Phillip Thomas. And our goal player is going to be a Nate Irving. So we got a middle linebacker. Maybe to stop some of those runs up the middle. But it's not going to help our pass defense at all. Um, definitely going to try to find something in this pack that might be worth using. I don't know. Nate Irving definitely going to be an upgrade over McClellan. Uh, he is kind of slow, though, at 77. So it's like, uh, I don't know. But that's definitely the best part about pack of play. You really don't know what's going to be in the packs. It's all random, and your team is going to be completely random at the end of the day. So, you know, Nate Irving, he might be a beast for us. Next pack here, we got Winston Guy, and we get Ben. I don't even, is it Ben A. Ben Winkery? I think that's how you say it. I've heard Texas boys say his name before. Ben Winkery is our new starting cornerback, helping the pass defense out with 88 speed, 85 man, 92 zone. Definitely going to be a beast for us, I hope. That we could stop some passes now. Got Ben Winkery. We got Prater on the outside with Michael Huff and Sergio Brown. That's episode number one of Pack and Play. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe if you're new. And tomorrow, new episode will be out. Peace.